there's a difference between a large quantity of a resource and large quality. And that's really where the U.S. right now is as far as lithium resources. Very large amounts, but they tend to be in low concentrations. You know, down in, in South America, we see brines approaching 2,000 ppm. They're some of the lowest cost production resources in the world. Western Australia, we see large amounts of hard rock deposits, very low cost of production there as well. So the U.S. is really about trying to find new extraction and processing techniques that really change that paradigm. If we just take existing processes that work in other parts of the world and try to apply to our resources, they end up not being very economically competitive. So I mentioned last year, you know, we were fortunate enough to work with, with DuPont on the sedimentary claystone lithium bearing resources that we own in central Nevada. We really developed from the ground up a new process flow sheet of not how to use existing brine techniques or existing hard rock techniques but starting from a complete blank page, how to start over again and design a process specifically for this unique type of resource. So we were able to produce you know, battery cathode grade lithium hydroxide at quite competitive economics. You know, we were able to apply to a Department of Energy grant last year, which we just won last year as well. Essentially a project to now take those bench scale results and working with DuPont to build a multi-ton per day system that will be deploying at our land down in central Nevada near Tonopah. So that kind of first of kind ground up design is really what is needed to make US based resources competitive with what we see throughout the world. Mm -hmm.